Oh hey, what's happening there YouTube? It's Brian House here for Housework and today we are going to be putting a razor sharp edge on this kitchen knife using a 2x72 belt grinder. Let's get started. Now when I say razor sharp edge, I mean it and we are going to do that really quickly here. Um, it's actually a quick process and we can achieve it with just the tool that you're seeing right behind me. Now that's the Revolution Generation 4 and if you're not already familiar with the Revolution project, I'll put a link right up here so you can go and check out that whole situation. It's a 2x72 belt grinder that we developed and then ultimately led to manufacture right here on YouTube. You all gave me great suggestions and then it just kind of exploded into an awesome project and now it's kind of my full-time job. So uh, anyhow, this knife, just so you know, this is a handmade knife that I've made. Um, there's no edge on it, meaning it's, it's just, it's really dull, okay? And then we're gonna put a primary edge on this and we're gonna do it in a real fast way. And I know that uh, this might be a little bit controversial, but uh, I do have a Tormek sharpening system that cost about the same amount of money as it cost me to build that machine. It does one thing, sharpens things. It does it well, uh, but I find myself gravitating to the 2x72 belt grinder instead. And I think the reason is, is because it's always set up, it's easy to do, and honestly, I get a way sharper, quicker edge using my 2x72 belt grinder. All right, let me show you what uh, my secret is to sharpening a knife safely on my 2x72. You're gonna need a few things now. Links for all of this is down in the description, okay? You can uh, source all these things yourself and you can, uh, you know, obviously go online and buy them. Or if you wanna go to my website, I have a kit that I've put together, housemade.us, and you can just buy the kit and I'll ship you all of this stuff. So, and I'll assemble it so you don't have to mess with it at all. But, so this is a uh, misting system. There's a big heavy magnet on it <laughs> on the bottom, a uh, big uh, rare earth magnet. Um, this is a water misting system, and what this does is uh, you drop this down into a cup of water, and it pulls air through and sprays the uh, workpiece, whatever you're working on, keeps it cool. Um, I put a big heavy-duty magnet on it, and that is so that you can position it on the platen and point it right at wherever you want it, and it'll stay put, okay? Um, by the way, you don't have to have a Revolution 2x72 to make this work. This will work on any uh, grinder, any 2x72. Uh, and then the other two things that I'm using to make this happen are Norax belts. These are like a ceramic high grit Norax belt. One is a 600 grit and another one is a 1200 grit, okay? Um, I get these uh, online. I'll put links down in the description uh, for these. Uh, they're made by Norton Abrasives. They're fantastic belts. Um, and to give you uh, an idea, I bought my first set of these probably almost two years ago. I have sharpened hundreds of knives with those belts and they're still going strong. I just bought brand new ones to demonstrate and take photos for the website. Now to get set up to do this, you'll need a cup of water and the belts and the misting system. Um, I also like to add my little uh, grind light here. Um, and this, uh, this one has a nice long neck so you can kind of gooseneck it down over your work. And then rotate the platen forward. Um, on a lot of uh, other designs, you know, you can't rotate forward. Some of their platens are fixed, which um, I love about the Revolution. The platen can roll forward or backward and you can use this surface to do all kinds of stuff. Um, but in this case, we're going to roll it forward because we're going to be using the belt up here. And then we're just going to lock that in place. We're going to um, throw a belt on there. We're going to grab our uh, 600 grit belt, Norax belt. Throw it on. Position that. And what we also want to make sure of is that it will track in reverse. Uh, so if your tracking isn't set up properly for reverse, you're going to want to do that. Um, in this particular setup, uh, my grinder, because it's tuned properly, uh, it will run forward and reverse, no problem. So we're just going to check that. Looks good. And then we're going to plug in our mister. And I like to just throw it right here on the platen. Snap it into place as low as possible. Point the head right at where we're going to be working. Now the clear hose goes down into the cup of water. You can literally use a jar for this. Doesn't have to be this cup. It can be anything. 
Uh, you just want it near the grinder somewhere. And then you're going to plug in your air system. Okay, so there's just a little dial down here that we can use to start pumping some air through it. And it should pull the water. There we go. Now, you don't want too much of this water. You don't want to be slinging it everywhere. But now we can see where the stream of water is going. We can adjust how much water is being pulled through by adjusting these two little knobs. All right, I get everything uh, shut off for now just so I can demonstrate this with some decent audio. But uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to run this belt in reverse. And we're going to do it at about 15%, like between 10 and 20%. You'll kind of get a feel for it as you go. Uh, when I'm doing thinner blades like this, uh, I like to go less aggressive. Uh, but if I'm doing, say, a cleaver or something big, like a lawnmower blade, whatever, you can go, you know, get a little faster on the belt speed. The trick to this is to go right behind the top platen wheel and you're going to lay the blade down on it and I like to start you know at the heel of the blade you know down here and go uh, work my first uh, line across the belt okay and I'm doing it in such a way that I'm keeping the uh, the cutting edge or whatever I'm working on parallel with the back end of this top wheel. So if that makes sense, as I'm pulling it through, if there's a curve in the blade, I'm going to be curving the blade as well. Now, the angle of your blade is really just going to depend upon uh, what you're sharpening. You know, is it going to be a 15 degree edge? Is it going to be a 20 degree edge? Uh, I like to start a little more aggressive, you know, a little higher degree because uh, I'm trying to put a primary edge on this. Now, if this knife already had an edge, uh, you may just want to try to match that degree. And you can do that by just laying it down on the belt and kind of looking at it from the side. And it'll kind of show you like, hey, where does that, where does that go? Uh, so really what it amounts to is this is a feel thing. You're going to want to do this with a couple of junk knives uh, before you run your good knives through this system. You know, grab those blades that maybe needed an edge. Maybe you got a, a junky knife in your drawer that you just want to test this with first. But do that, and then, and then uh, once you feel comfortable with the system, start uh, using this for your good knives. All right, let's get started. That was just like two or three swipes, but you can see we're starting to put that, that fine bevel on there that wasn't there before, okay? Just very ever so slightly. We're going to take our time, and you know, the first few that you do, you're just going to want to take your time, you know, go over it and go smooth. But here's the thing, at the very end and at the very tip, you're going to want to make sure that you pay really good attention that you're not giving the tip or the end back here at the uh, the heel of the knife, you don't want to you don't want to round over the heel. So you just want to be very gentle uh, at the very ends. Okay, so let's keep going. Okay, so let's just take a quick gander at what we're up to here. Uh, I always like to have a paper towel around, you know, just to keep things dry as you're going. Uh, I am checking to see what the bevel looks like uh, on each side. And I'm just trying to match that bevel, just like you would like on a Tormac, but you can see we're now starting to get even a burr uh, up underneath here. So that's actually exactly what we want. There's some real evident burr here right on the tip. Uh, we're going to just keep doing that until we see that burr form all the way across the blade. 
Okay. And then we're going to switch it up and move over to a 1200 grit Norax belt. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing with 1200 grit. And this process goes really fast from this point forward. Add a little bit of water and air. Run our belt in reverse at about 15%. Now you can see from the backlight, that's the burr that we've generated now across the entire cutting surface of this blade. The last step is we are going to strop this. Now you have a couple of choices there. My quick go-to is to use a buffing wheel and strop it on a buffing wheel. But if you want to preserve the finish on the blade, uh, they do make a 2x72 leather strop that you can throw right on your your grinder. So that's the cleaner way to do it. I will include links to that down in the description so you can find one for yourself. Let's drop this thing and give it a cutting test. To test the edge I like to use a little piece of paper, scrap paper or whatever. Pa uh, paper's pretty harsh on an edge and it'll also give you a real nice indicator if you missed anything on your edge. So like I try to run the paper all the way down so I'm getting every surface or every inch of the cutting surface. And I can tell right towards the tip I have a little dull spot and sort of right here I have a little dull spot. So I'll go back and hit it again but for the most part we are really razor sharp. But yeah, right in here I've got a spot that needs to be touched up. So I'll go back and touch that up and then we'll call this done. So now he's saying, Brian, you know, that was a, a knife you made and it's thin and everything. It's probably fairly easy to sharpen. What if I've got my own knives or what if I've got like a lawnmower blade or what if I've got like an old cleaver or something like that that you want to uh, touch up? Uh, this is my father's cleaver from when we lived back on the farm and uh, it's uh, really, really dull. Like this hasn't been used in a lot of years and there's a lot of corrosion on it. And I'm just gonna prove to you that I can make this razor sharp too using the exact same system. So we're just gonna start with 600 grit. We're gonna go, uh, you know, bring, bring a burr to the edge. This is a, a convex grind. So it's a little bit, uh, actually in my opinion, it's a little bit easier because the blade is thicker. Uh, and we will uh, bring a burr to the edge, upgrade to a 12, 100 grit uh, Norax belt and then strop it and see if she's sharp. Alright, you can see here got an, we've worked our burr all the way to the edge, all the way across and uh, not super sharp. This is more of a convex grind so uh, you know, you're, you're really not going to get this really, really razor sharp. I can get it pretty close. This would be similar to like a lawnmower blade, you know, and it's thickness and it's, uh, you know, shape and everything. So if you had a lot of lawnmower blades to sharpen, you could do it with this device as well. A couple things to consider when doing this is that yes, you're gonna have a little bit of water that uh, kind of gets slung around. Uh, there's a kind of a negative and a benefit to that. The negative is, is it creates a little bit of a mess. But the positive is, is that it actually keeps the dust down. Now, if you're using this system for say, putting on bevels after heat treat, 
this will greatly reduce your dust uh, that's being produced. Now, uh, I like to go and you know spray everything down a little bit just to keep the flash rust from happening on the machine. Now, if you paint your machine or or you have um, you know powder coating or whatever, that's not really a huge concern. Um, I just like to do it anyway, just to keep my bearings and everything looking good and you know not covered with water. Just wipe down the machine. It's it's just a very simple thing. I will tell you that if you're doing multiple blades and you're doing multiple edges, that uh, this greatly, greatly reduces the amount of time that you'll spend sharpening. It just really is an awesome system. So remember, if you decide you wanna do this on your 2x72, you can go to my website, housemade.us. There's links down below. You can buy the kit. I've got them uh, ready to go. We'll have them all uh, shipped out. Or if you don't wanna buy it through me, that's fine. You can go and look through all the links that I've got down in the description as well and you can buy your own and assemble your own kit. If you got something out of today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And if you click that little bell, you'll get a notification every time I upload something to YouTube. There's many ways to support my channel and by far the best way is to go to my website, housemade.us. You can buy pieces, parts, and plans to build your own Revolution 2x72 belt grinder. There's Patreon, there's buy me a coffee. Uh, you know, you can buy whatever from my website. It just really truly helps me continue making content right here in my workshop and studio. As always, guys, it was really fun hanging out with you in my workshop. I hope to see you on the next video. My name is Brian House, and this has been Housework. Uh -huh.